All right, so your dishwasher is not draining properly. I'm gonna show you how to fix that, how to get your dishwasher to drain properly. But before we get started, can you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel? I'll appreciate it tremendously. All right, so you come into the issue where your dishwasher is not draining properly and there's probably a puddle of water down in there. Now I'm gonna go over several reasons as to why this issue may happen and how to alleviate this issue so you can get back to washing your dishes in your dishwasher and not have to do it by hand, okay? That's a, not an ideal situation. So you come into the, the place where you have water sitting in there and the dishes are not clean because essentially the water did not drain. So I'm gonna show you how to alleviate it. So there's several problems. One, I'm gonna show you the go ahead Maybe this may be alleviate your issue, but you'll probably want to stay tuned and see of these other possible issues because they will arise if you own a dishwasher eventually. All right, so the most simple way to get it to drain is to go ahead and come to where usually the reset button is or it's usually near where the start is and maybe it's the same thing. And right here it says, it says reset three seconds. So what I'll do is to get that water out, I'll hold it for three seconds and it should drain. So I held it for three seconds and it goes like this and you just simply start your dishwasher and it drains. All right, so that's one issue. All right, so that is uh, just one of many issues. So let's go ahead and get deeper into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and you see this right here, this right here, this is the filter right here. Now the filter can be clogged, especially if you're not cleaning out your filter on a regular basis. All right, so what you want to do is make sure that there's no food sitting all in here. You'll probably want to go ahead and grab it out, maybe get a strainer, get some gloves on so that uh, you get all the food out of that. Now after you do that, you're gonna want to remove the filter that is in here. And now for most dishwashers, it's just simply down here, you just simply come down here and twist this and then pull it out. You know, your dishwasher may be a little bit different. So you're gonna go ahead and pull this out right here. You're gonna see that, look at the filter, it's really dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna go through that process. And down here, there's a lot of gunk and stuff. If there's any food trapped in there, you want to go ahead and clean that out. It looks really nasty, right? But all this food right here can damage and clog up the uh, uh, drain for the dishwasher. You want to get your hands down in there, get some gloves on if you need to, and get that out. Or maybe get a, a culiner or a strainer and scoop it out, get all of that out. All right, so once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and take the filter and you're going to bring it over to the sink. And let's get started with this and cleaning this out right here. So once you've pulled out the filter, this is the filter right here. All right, you see this? What you want to do is you want to go ahead, if there's any debris on the screen right here, you just simply take an old toothbrush, and I use Dawn Power Platinum. You can just use any detergent, dishwasher detergent, or not dishwasher, dish detergent, and just simply put some on it and just take the brush and just simply go over it, removing all food off the top of it. But it gets even deeper. So you get down here, you get on the back side of it as well. You get all the food that you possibly can, all the crud that you possibly can off of that. And then you're going to want to rinse this, rinse all that off, but it gets even deeper, okay? You want to go ahead and clean this mesh filter right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and separate it. If you look on it, sometimes on this particular one, you can just simply pull it off just like that. And you see how there's food and crud up in here? You want to go ahead and sometimes you can just rinse a lot of that off. But if it's too difficult, just go ahead and take a brush and go ahead and brush around it like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and separate this from that part of the filter. And you'll just wanna go ahead and clean all of this, all right? Clean all of that, just make sure it's, all the food especially is off of it, or if any calcium buildup is on there. And then you're gonna to come to this filter. Now this is one of the most important parts of the filter right here. Now this is the fine mesh filter. All right, now it gets the small particles. Well, you wanna go ahead and take the brush, it still has a little bit of soap on it, and continue doing what we were doing before. And that's just taking the brush back and forth to remove any crud, any food that could be on this filter because this could be keeping the dishwasher from functioning properly. Now look at all this, you see how dirty the brush is right here? That's all food that's been caked up. Now, 
Cleaning the filter is something you should be doing on a regular basis because all of this is trapped food and gets recirculated onto your dishes. If you want clean dishes, you, you definitely have to keep this filter clean. So after I've brushed it with soap, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. And this for 99.9% of you all, this should be enough to clean the filter. But then there's also, looks like there's some sort of calcium buildup in here that also needs to be removed. Now, most filters are, it's pretty safe to do this, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get a bowl and I'll fill it with water. And then I'll take some vinegar, some, just any, any type of vinegar, like either uh, apple cider, I mean, but I normally just use white distilled vinegar. The way you don't have any uh, debris in it like apple cider vinegar does. And then I'm just gonna pour some in here like maybe about a cup or so, half a cup to a cup. And then if there's a lot of calcium buildup on this filter, what I'll do is I'll stick it in this and just roll it around like this and then let it sit for a few hours, maybe overnight. And what this will do is, so you can see it a little bit, I'll put it in the water right here, the vinegar water, and I'll let it sit for a few hours or if overnight. And what this will do is dissolve the calcium buildup that has built up on top of the filter. All right. And so like other parts of it, I'll just take the vinegar water and just go like this along the filter. And this should be enough to dissolve it. I'll take some of the vinegar water and then I'll let it sit for maybe about 30 minutes. And this dissolves a lot of calcium that is built up. And usually the problem is only on this filter right here, maybe on this one right here, but it's calcium will be dissolved. Then after you dissolve it, just go ahead and rinse this off. Rinse this off and then put it back together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this part of the filter back together. All right, so once you do that, you have a clean filter just like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into place, and then we're gonna go on and talk about another issue to get your uh, dishwasher to drain if this does not solve your issue. We're gonna go ahead and move on to that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so now that I've cleaned the filter out, rinsed it, I'm gonna go ahead and place this back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and place this back in here and get it back into place. So now you have a clean filter, and you can try the, re the reset button, which we talked about before, or we can go on and talk about other issues, okay? So once you have this into place, you have all the debris cleaned out, you wanna come over to the sink, okay? Now a problem, that issue that you may arise that may be causing the dishwasher from draining is that there is some sort of clog down in there, okay? So there may be some sort of clog down in the drain preventing the water from leaving the dishwasher and going down in the drain. So you want to alleviate it. So sometimes all it takes is turning on some water and then turning on the garbage disposal to get it out. That may solve it, but however, if there is, it's still not solving the problem, you wanna take something, I'm gonna show you how to, to, to get all the grease and everything out. So you wanna take something like some detergent. I have Dawn Power Wash detergent. I like using Dawn, it's really effective, not necessarily the Power Wash, but just the Dawn brand in general. And what I'll do is, I will go ahead and do the hot water boiling method. Now, what this is, is when I take a pot right here and I'm gonna boil this water and I'm gonna pour it down the drain. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this pot up with water. And while it's filling with water, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Dawn detergent, detergent and I'm going to go ahead and just put some down in the drain, okay? I'm just gonna put a, put a little bit down in the drain just like this. And I'm just gonna let this sit in here because this right here is what's gonna help dissolve some of the solids, some of the oil that's crud up in there, especially if it's during the winter time. You, it, the pipes get cold and the fat solidifies and prevents everything from draining. So I have the Dawn in there, Dawn detergent that I'm putting here, and I'm boiling this pot up to boil. So let me go ahead and boil this. So I have the water boiling. Well, it's not boiling right now, but it's boiling hot water right here. And remember, I added the Dawn detergent to the drain. I'm just gonna add a little bit more down in there. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take this water and I'm gonna pour it down in the drain. But before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the garbage disposal 
and I'm going to press, I'm going to turn on the garbage disposal, then I'm going to pour it into here, and it's going to mix in with the detergent and dissolve some of the solid fats that are in there, and hopefully this will alleviate a problem. So I'm going to go ahead, turn this on, and I'm going to take the boiling water, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in there. And that should alleviate the problem. I'm just going to let that hot water sit in there. I'm not going to put any water down in here right now. I'm just going to let the hot water dissolve some of the solids and hopefully it can drain down there. And then if this does not alleviate your problem, you can go ahead and fill the sink up with water. And then you take this, you take this thing out here. This is just protected for the sink, the stainless steel right there. You take this out of water, and then you'll take your classic plunger, okay? Make sure it's clean, okay? You don't want cross-contamination, always disinfect my plunger. You'll fill this sink up with enough water. Usually, I fill it up pretty much halfway, this, this particular sink right here. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to fill it up all of the way. So I'm filling it up with some water, and then I'm just gonna go ahead, turn the water off, and then take the plunger, and just try to plunge a little bit. See air coming out of this to see if that helps whatsoever, okay? If not, it should, okay? So once you have that, you're gonna go ahead and do this, and then we're gonna move back over to see if it drains. Now, but before we go there, you also, another problem that you may have is underneath the sink, there is a drain from the dishwasher to the garbage disposal. And sometimes that may get a kink in it, depending on what you're doing underneath the sink. If you have a lot of things underneath the sink, you're going to get, you may get run into kinking that drain hose that drains from the dishwasher to the garbage disposal sink. All right, so let's go ahead and see if, if this alleviates the issue. So let's go ahead and go ahead. So I went over all of those issues. We have water sitting in here. We clean the drain, okay? We clean the drain, we clean uh, the filters, we clean the sink, we did all of that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut this and we're gonna go ahead and press this to see if it drains. So we're gonna go right here and remember we're gonna go up to this start button right here and we're gonna test it to reset it. All right, make sure the dishwasher's on. Take it, hold it for three seconds usually, all right? Once we hold it for three seconds, we're gonna go ahead and shut it and then let's see if it drains over here. So indicator for this dishwasher is that the red light is on. Now look at that. It is draining down in there. I'm just gonna see, see all of the water coming out. So this should be the result of all your hard work and effort right there. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. This is just a general uh, uh, idea of how to drain your dishwasher. Your particular dishwasher may be a little bit different. That's why you need to read your user manual to see if you know it's a little bit different and the user manual can help you out more so than this video does right here. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe and please give a thumbs up. I'll appreciate it tremendously.